While newly pregnant with Archie, Meghan Markle turned and hissed at a staffer, leaving the employee in tears, during a tense 2018 royal event in Fiji. I was there at the time and witnessed Meghan turn and hiss at a member of her entourage, clearly incandescent with rage about something, and demand to leave, recalled Rebecca English of the Daily Mail. I later saw that same, female, highly distressed member of staff sitting in an official car, with tears running down her face, English wrote. Our eyes met and she lowered hers, humiliation etched on her features. English linked the two events, Markle's rage and the staffer's tears and humiliation, as palace aides have hit back before the Duchess interview with Oprah Winfrey. So many aides have dropped bombshells alleging Markle threw temper tantrums at staffers that Buckingham Palace has announced it will probe the matter. Markle has brushed the allegations aside as a calculated smear campaign by the palace to deflect from the blockbuster Oprah sit-down. Markle was enraged during the 2018 tour of the island nation because a group called UN Women was present at the market, and Markle had previously insisted that the group not be there, despite having worked with them in the past. Footage from the event shows her whispering to an aide and then being whisked away by bodyguards. Lawyers for Markle have denied this was so, stressing that Markle met with members of the Women's Empowerment Group later in the visit to the island. It was very hot and humid in there so perhaps it wasn't the best environment for a pregnant woman one witness told at the time. After speaking for about a minute she broke off and spoke to the same aide again before she was whisked out of the market very soon after. Meanwhile, Prince Harry has said that history was repeating itself and that the media's pursuit of Meghan Markle wasn't going to stop in a viral clip from the documentary series The Me You Can't See which has resurfaced online. The viral video which has over 130,000 views on Twitter was posted as reports surfaced that the results of a Buckingham Palace investigation into bullying allegations against Meghan would not be made public. In the seven-minute video clip on Twitter, Harry is seen discussing a night in January 2019 when Meghan disclosed to him that she had considered taking her own life after the intense media scrutiny she was facing became too much to handle. The evening in question saw the couple attend a charity performance of Cirque du Soleil's Totem at London's Royal Albert Hall. People have seen the photographs of us squeezing each other's hands as we walked into the Royal Albert Hall in London for a charity event, Harry said. Meghan, was six months pregnant at the time. What perhaps people don't understand is, earlier that evening Meghan decided to share with me the suicidal thoughts and the practicalities of how she was going to end her life. The scariest thing for her was her clarity of thought. She hadn't lost it, Harry continued. She wasn't crazy. She wasn't self-medicating be it through pills or through alcohol. She was absolutely sober. She was completely sane. Yet, in the quiet of night these thoughts woke her up. The thing that stopped her seeing it through was how unfair I would be on me after everything that had happened with my mom and to now be put in the position of losing another woman in my life with a baby inside of her, our baby, I'm somewhat ashamed of the way that I dealt with it, he added. Megan herself recounted her thoughts on the night during her March 2021 interview with Winfrey saying that. It was one of the things that still haunts me is this photograph that someone had sent me. We had to go to an official event. We had to go to this event at the Royal Albert Hall, and a friend said, I know you don't look at pictures, but, oh, my God, you guys look so great. I zoomed in, and what I saw was the truth of what that moment was, because right before we had to leave for that, I had just had that conversation with Harry that morning. In another section of the viral clip, Harry discusses the racism that Meghan faced on social media and in traditional print media with one headline released after the royal relationship went public reading, Harry's girl is, almost, straight out of Compton. Comparing Meghan's treatment to that of his own mother Princess Diana, who was killed in a high-speed car crash while her car was being followed by members of the paparazzi in 1997, Harry said, My biggest regret is not making more of a stance earlier on in the relationship with my wife and calling out the racism when I did. History was repeating itself. My mother was chased to her death while she was in a relationship with someone that wasn't white and now look what's happened. You want to talk about history repeating itself? They're not going to stop until, Megan, dies.